How many times have you wished you could go back in time and grab a copy of your code that worked before you made some changes that broke everything? Even if you work with a version control system, I know there must have been a few times when you didn't commit some code back to the repository because, well, it really wasn't done yet and you didn't want your boss to see that hack you used just to see if something were possible. Now, after lunch, you come back, you write a few hundred lines of code, and it stops working. Now, where's that time machine? The local history feature of MPLABX may just be the time machine you need. To show the local history for a file, we need to right-click on that file, go down to Local History, Show Local History, and this will bring up a diff window that will show us a comparison between the current file and, by default, the most recently saved old file. Now I'm going to choose one of these others down the list here. Oops, that one there. So you can see a few different examples of how this works. So now we can see that uh, in the old file I had an extra line in here that is not in the current file. If I decide that I'd rather have that in the current file, I could just click on that little blue arrow and it will copy it over into the new file there. And if we scroll down a little further, you can see an example here of where some code actually changed. Here in the old file, I just had a blank line and a line of code which was expanded into several comments. And again, if I wanted to make the new file match the old file, I could click on that little blue arrow. A little further down still, we have a situation where I removed some lines, and that's where you see this pink area here. Again, with that blue arrow, I could insert those back into the current file. Or finally, down here on the bottom right in this green area, I have something where I've added some things to the current file that didn't exist in the old one. And if I click that red X, that would delete that to make it match the old file. Now, by default, the local history is only saved for seven days. Now, we can change that to pretty much any value you want by going to the Tools menu and selecting Options, or if you're on a Mac, that would be MPLAB and Preferences. And go to the Miscellaneous category. and go down to versioning. And over on the left hand side here, click on local history. Now again, by default it will say seven days, but as you can see I make a lot of mistakes, so I have mine set for 365 days. So whether you're an individual developer with no version control, or a member of a team with a rigid system of version control, the local history feature can help save the day when things go wrong. For MPLAB XTV, I'm Rob Ostopiak.